Hello all and welcome back to our tutorial of animation, rigging and compositing with Lightwave and After Effects. Now, what we just covered in the previous tutorial was we did set up lighting and add compositing and animate objects inside the composite. Uh, now, instead of doing it separately, just did them together. So I'll call that, so this one will be called 5 and 6 of eight of 9, sorry. So tutorial 5 and 6 of 9. Okay, because it was a short one, we managed to knock it out fairly quick, so that's why I did both of them together. Now we're going to cover Add Shadow Catcher to the Scene. Now what Shadow Catcher is, is basically what it says, it sort of captures the shadow of the model and projects it onto this picture that we have. Okay, and make to make it look like it's really there. Now this scene actually doesn't need it, but it's very good for you to, to learn it because it's a really awesome thing. Uh, which you'll probably find if you ever get into this fully 3D animation uh, or compositing, you'll be using it constantly. Uh, it's awesome. So I'll quickly show you how we do that. Okay, firstly what we need to do is go to Modeler Tools and we need to go Geometry and we need to create a ground plane. You want the ground plane to be pretty big, so I'm going to go 50 by 50 and I'll click OK. OK, now what I need to do, the idea of this ground plane is we've got to link it up with the plane, uh, with the wall, you know, what the, the flatness of the picture here. OK. OK, so I need to go way back here. something like that with the space bar and I'll go to the scale here this scale not that not not this scale cuz I don't I don't really want to stretch it I just I just want to I just want to do it all together so this is a uniform scale okay so okay about around about there I'll just move it up and I'll move it down and I'll rotate a little bit. Okay, yeah, around right about there somewhere. I might stretch this bit. Okay, about there, that'll do. Okay, and the idea that is we're going to project the model onto the plane, the shadow, but the thing is, is that this scene, because it's high, we, you know, we wouldn't see the shadow, because the shadow will probably be off scene, or would be too far away for our eye to even notice, so, but I'll show you how it's done anyway, what we'll do is, with the ground plane selected, go to, we don't need it selected actually, just go to surface editor, okay, and on the default there, what we want to do, uh, I think ground plane actually. Ground plane, we want to tick the edit node and then open edit node up and then we just put in shadow and it should pop up. There is shadow catcher. We double click on shadow catcher and material and pop it into material like that. Okay, and now. So, uh, see what okay, now now if we have a look, it's not actually on it needs to be over it basically over our ground plane. okay, so if we go, Back to our ground plane. Okay. And I'll just turn off this the target so it doesn't keep popping me back. Okay. And we need to 
make sure that she's stretched. Okay, because we okay, see so we need it to be over it. Okay, <laughs> now if, just just so you get an idea of what's going on. Okay, I'll just um. Go back in here for one second, I'll just turn it off. Okay, it's because we had to stretch it. Okay, so about sort of lining it up with the water, basically. Alright, and now if I select here. See, like I said, the shadow, I'm going to have to change it around just so I can show you how it works. Because it's too far away, you see, our scene. So the shadow is not going to work in our comp composition. So I'll just move it just so you can see it at least working. Okay, see so how we've got our shadow there. And I'll put our target back on again. Okay, see so our shadow. <clears throat> okay, now I'll just go to camera and I'll bring our camera in. I'm just doing this solely purposely so you can check it out and see how it works because it is really cool. Like I said, this is actually meant for the other um, tutorial that I was talking about because it would have worked. We needed it for that one, but this one we don't. Okay, so now if you see as it. Whoops, oh, we changed it. But anyway, alright, so now if I go back to here and now I put material and I plug it in to material. Okay, now as you can see, let's put the, I'll just go back to texture for a second. Okay, and I'll just go and render it quickly. Okay, just so you can see, see how it's projected straight on there see so it looks pretty cool you know and so you understand that in certain com composites so if uh, like the one that we were going to do this one here if you can notice you know so that there and you see see this is a close a much closer one so if we we're going across the water we'd want to see it reflecting off the water okay so that was what it was designed for okay here of course it's going to be up here we wouldn't see it because he's so far away that you know he's 500 meters the shadow will be over here somewhere okay and but the the global illumination of the earth would just it would vape vanish anyway would, because of the height so anyway but that that gives you an idea how it works it's pretty cool okay so it's as simple as that all you have to do is put a ground plane in drop a ground plane Okay, and then you want to link your ground plane up with the ground here, with whatever picture it is that you're trying to line it up to. You got to make sure that the ground plane is big enough that it covers wherever your object is. Okay, so make sure it's covered, otherwise it won't be able to reflect anything if there's no ground plane. And then you just have to put a surface on the ground plane by simply clicking ground plane, ticking the edit node box, type in shadow, double click on it, drop in shadow and then you simply drop it into the material channel, that's it, you don't have to do anything else to it, okay, um, in, if you do double click on it, it's got like little bits and pieces of information, reflection, you know, you can uh, turn it up, turn it down, depending on how you want it to look, OK, 
okay so it just completely depends on how you want it to look but you can play around with this but um, okay so like I said it's 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 really it's that easy Okay, so it's just reflecting wherever the sun is, basically, the light, which is we're representing the sun, see? So it's just reflecting it and just compositing the, the shadow onto, uh, onto the picture, which is pretty awesome, actually, you know? I think that's really cool how it does that. Okay, but of course we won't need... We won't need it uh, in this one uh, because, like I said, unless you want him to be really close like this, you can do it if you want. There's no reason why not. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, well, that wraps up this tutorial. Okay. So, what have we got next? We have uh, we've almost finished. So, we've got render out animation for post processing in After Effects. Okay. So, thank you again for watching, and please thumbs up, leave a comment subscribe uh, and, uh, and let me know how you're going um, and tell me if you in, have enjoyed the tutorials it'll be great uh, and it would give me the will to continue <laughs> uh, with more cool tutorials okay so i'll see you in the next one where we will be rendering our animation for post-processing okay so i'll see you then and ciao for now